Hey guys, it's David Nailbuster. Okay, so you got the baller installer installed, your pinup system is working, you're playing the two tables that are included, and now you're like, okay, I want to start, how do I go about adding a new table? So, I mean, you still need to understand where things are a little, you need to know what's underneath the hood here so you can actually do things with the uh, uh, on your cabinet. So I'm going to show you just a sample of adding the table uh, to your cabinet. Uh, desktop's a little different, but you should be able to figure it out. But I'm more, more focused here on cabinet. I, I have my default set up for uh, uh, full DMD here. Um, so let's go through it. Wait, I mean, you're going to join a community. Um, you're going to see, you know, grab what tables you're looking for. You know, I really suggest you do one at a time. You enjoy the table. You set up intricacies of it, you know, so that it works really well on your cab. Uh, maybe there's some table script settings, difficulty levels, quality. There, there's all sorts of little tweaks that you can do with each table. Uh, getting a pack of all this really uh, won't help you that much as far as getting the best out of your cab. Um, now, there's going to be pretty much three parts that you're going to be looking for. There's the actual VPX. Uh, that's the table file that gets run by the VPX editor. Um, you have the direct B2S file. That's the B, direct B2S stands for directly back glass to screen. I guess so that that's so that your screen on the back can uh, have you know the uh, the back glass like a pin, real pinball machine, and then you have what is called the ROM. The ROM is the actual um, you have to own it, of course. And let's say you own the table and you have the ROM, that's the actual code from the machine that gets run in your DMD area. So nine times out of ten, you're going to need these three parts. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add. This one I have is bad cats, and we're gonna add bad cats to uh, your your pinup system. All right, so I'm gonna go into popper setup, games manager, straightforward. You have game manager playlists; those are the things on the front where you s categorize each of the games, and your media for the games. So we're gonna go to game manager. Um, those are the two that are there, and we're gonna go to the top here, and, and we're gonna select add new games. Um, First thing you want to put is uh, which one? There's future pinball vision. So, um, so you don't always have to remember where things are. There's these two, uh, three shortcuts quickly. Open game folder. That'll actually open up where your tables and your direct B2S file will go. And you also open ROM table and that'll direct you to the uh, VPIN beam ROMs. But eventually you'll learn where these are and you'll just copy and paste them manually. Um, so we're gonna do that. Uh, we're going to, I'll just close these so I don't confuse you all. So I'm gonna open game folder. It already has the tables and I'm going to grab the direct B2S and I'm gonna grab uh, the both these and I'm gonna go copy. I'm just gonna go into the tables folder and hit paste. Uh, I'm going to close that. I'm going to go into the ROMs. These are the ROMs. I'm going to select the ROM and put it in there. Alrighty. Close that up. So now I'm going to scan for new games. And there, you'll notice, oh, there's a cool thing. There's a nudge test and calibration. And there's the bad cat ones we just added. Now I can show you a nice little feature here. Say you don't want to ever see this nudge chest. You can just highlight it right click on it and go ignore game always and you just hit yes and we don't have to worry about that nudge calibration test one so there you have the game that you added bad cats if there was multiple ones you can hold shift the up and down arrows clicking just like file explorer and once you have it highlighted you just go add game to system and one new game's added all right then we hit the first tab again all games you'll notice it'll automatically be on the top here and this is where you can set up anything that you might want to set up. We'll get into the more advanced things as far as renaming and getting all the, the data fields already pre-populated for you. But we just added the game in there. Save and close. Um, now, it's already in the system. It actually will automatically be the way it's designed. With uh, It'll automatically be in your, um, in your Visual Pinball X folder here. I, I'll get into playlists more advanced later, but right now it should be already in your VPX playlist. Uh, you could just exit and launch, but we don't want to do that yet because this is where uh, you really need to go into the editor first, the VPX editor. Okay, and we're going to, I have a shortcut here. There's a shortcut made by the installer and we're going to go into Visual Pinball X. It's going to ask you which one to load. Don't load right away because it'll auto start it, which we don't want. So we hit cancel. We go file open and we select bad cats. Now, um, 
you, you, it's important when you first get a table, and these, some of these tables are downloaded thousands of times. You know, if you come up with issues when you run it, use the support thread. All your, you know, ninety-nine percent of all of the problems or questions are answered in the support thread. Um, but uh, when you're in VPX editor, a little bit of things that you're going to be uh, using a lot, little script button here, and that you'll see. Some, usually at the top of the script, you'll have stuff like options for sounds, some quality, some whether or not using a pup pack. So again, if you follow the instructions where you downloaded it, it may, you're using the script changes, so it's not complicated. Make a backup of your VPX, you know, that you've downloaded. So you don't, you know, if you screw around with the script or something goes out, you just overwrite it. So the script is embedded inside the VPX, so you're, 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 you don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, other things that someone might tell you is options. Uh, you might want to scan this. You want to make sure these are all default. So some older tables might override your defaults, but you want these all to default and stuff like that. So that's right. Um, but that's it. So we're just going to play. And the first time you play a game that is ROM based, usually things don't work right away because it has to create initial files, NVRAM files and stuff like that. Um, like I'll show you here. You'll see, I'll show you, um, how it looks on my see it says factory setting it, it just made a file it's frozen right now which is normal nothing to worry about yet uh we're just going to hit q and quit to editor so the first time you run it it's going to do that okay sometimes it will run but your flippers will stick normal stuff don't worry about it this is the first just the first initial run when it creates some of the files it needs to create um, i'm going back into the editor here and i'm just going to hit play again And you'll notice, uh, yeah, there you go. Now you can, you know, insert coins. If you're focused, you just click on the play field. You press start. That's five for coins, one to start, and you're playing. Okay. Um, now, if you have a desktop or if you have, um, uh, you know, a two screen system, sometimes, you know, the grill isn't where you want it. The, uh, oh, let me show you screen two here. So, um, you, you want to go on the back glass sometimes. This is the back glass. You want to right click on it. You notice here actually, this one here has something enabled here. So you right click on it and you'll see uh, what we have to do here because this one actually is showing those. There's no way to do this globally. So you want to make that hidden and the B2M hidden. Sometimes you want to make it visible if you're a two screen user. Everything else you stay the same. You want to make sure it's always running in, in EXE mode for performance. You save settings. So you notice save settings won't be done till the next reboot, uh, next start of the table. So that'll get rid of that box. So these are the kind of things that you gotta tweak depending on your uh, scenario. I'm gonna hit Q twice. And so now I'll play it again. And that should get rid of, yeah. So that got rid of the extra DMD on the screen. So now our table is ready to actually play from the front end. Um, I'm going to save this and I'm going to exit. Okay. Now, uh, you'll notice when we play it from the, I'm going to hit exit and launch here from the setup. When we play it on the front end, let me go back to this scene. Um, you're going to notice, I'm going to go over to VPX and it's there. It says there it's bad cats, but you know, there's no media for it yet. It's all using the default media and whatnot. So we're going to, but let's, We'll do media afterwards. So I'm just going to play it. I am now loading make sure it's running game. from the front end. Again, while it's loading, uh, one thing you want to do in Windows, I just can't do it in this virtual machine, is here on the second screen, you want to hide. There's an option in your taskbar settings to hide taskbar on all screens. And so that'll hide that. Um, so yeah, everything seems to be working. I'm click on the play field. Have you ever noticed Whoa. things aren't... Um, moving or lights aren't moving, it's because it's not in focus. So you just click it with the mouse. Uh, also, you'll notice hitting the letter O brings up an operator menu in Popper, and you can do lots of stuff with that. But let's uh, let's just make sure the game starts up, and yeah, it seems to be working well. The DMD is working. And we're playing. All right, so I hit escape. I changed the default to escape on this one, so escape brings us back in here. All right, so, I mean, that's it. We added a table. Um, Let's just, now I'm going to talk about media. Uh, I mean, the easiest way to do it is, should I do it here? It'll take us, I mean, sure, why not? Um, I'm going to go into VPX, and I'm going to 
launch the game. Please I'm going to record the play field, the and I'm going to record the black glass. So we have media for that right away. So I'll show you. You can fast forward the section if you, well, you know, you could always go faster if you want. But um, I'm just going to go hit O for operator menu, go down to record displays, and I'm going to say record play field. I am now so recording you play. you'll, you'll get the message about recording the play field. And uh, usually you wait 30 seconds if you want, uh, whatever you want to wait. Um, but for now, I'm just going to do it quickly. So I'll hit O again, bring up the operator menu up again. Recording has stopped. And you'll Please get the message that recording has stopped. And system. it will compile that. Um, and then once it's done, it says everything's good, uh, then you want to do the back class like we just did. You want to um, hopefully this go quickly. Uh, and. Uh, I should have just did it for three seconds, but for now, uh, I did it for 10 seconds. Conversion, now done. Okay, it's done. Enjoy. All right, so then I'm going to hit O again, and I'm going to record displays, and I'm going to record back glass. I am this now one, recording you playing with your balls. i just do it quickly for five seconds. Uh, da, 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 black glass, and I'll count to one, two, three, yeah, sure. Hit O again. It'll recording stop the play Recording has field. stopped. Please wait for encoding. Do and, not touch uh, system. And then you would do the full DMD afterwards, but it's better to record the full DMD only when um, you actually have full DMD background. Conversion that now cool. done. Enjoy. Okay, so then I'm going to hit escape. So we did that. So I'm going to hit escape, and you'll notice now. Look, we have the uh, we have the back glass, and we have media for the play field and the back glass set up. Not for full DMD. We'll do that in the back end. Um, so let me just hit Z to exit. Right, so last step is if we want to get more media and I go into media manager and let me go back to one screen only here so I'm gonna go back to media manager um, things that you're gonna notice on the top very important to realize there's playlists and there's games playlists are your defaults for you like the home I want the default background for uh, uh, the full DMD I want the default for whatnot uh, for each playlist so here is important to know on each playlist what you want for defaults but for particular games uh, so if the game doesn't have media, it'll use the playlist default. So uh, I'm going to go and click Bad Cats. And yeah, so say I want a, a decent backdrop. So I'm going to go for my full DMD. See these little internets? Interwebs. You can um, double click and see which one you want. You want frame, low DMD. So I'm going to go low DMD. It'll show you. Oh, yeah, that's that's nice. I like that one. It loads for six seconds. Just wait for a second. It'll stop. And go, yeah, I'm going to download and use that one. Right, and so here you click on each window, each screen, and it'll it'll show you down here the uh, actual media found for that one, and some new thing. You can actually highlight it. You can right click, remove it if you want to do it again, preview it. Uh, you'll never really rename it. But what's nice is you can hit convert, and this will bring up stuff like you want to convert, you know, the volume, lower it. This stuff will expand uh, uh, depending on your setup. But yeah, you could do lots of cool things with the media here. But in general, we have this setup and uh, wheel image. Yes, that's the one we usually do a lot. Uh, you'll have a lot of a lot of great people added to the pop media. These authors, um, I'll just use uh, Joey's here, and yeah, that one's good. So I'm going to use and close, exit and launch. All right, so then I'll go to Visual Pinball X, and there we go. Our wheel is set up. All right, look, we have a nice, uh, oh, let me show you. I'll show you here. I'll show you, yeah. So the wheel is set up. The back glass, now we have a nice backdrop for our full DMD. And then I can have one to start. I am now loading and, up the game. And uh, yeah, have it fun. should, uh, hopefully the, uh, that loads up nice and the, and the backdrop is all set up for the full DMD and yeah there we go now you notice yeah the media is a little cut off this is where we would there's another thing so last thing we're going to do is talk about what happens if your DMD is not in the right spot or if you don't want the DMD in a certain spot you're going to move your mouse over to it and you can move it around all right make it bigger and then you can right click on it 
and you can save the position just for bad cats so just for this game or you can reposition it say for globally so depending on your media you might want to just save it for back glass okay um if you're a two screen or, or and you notice there's a dmd that you don't want and or there's a, or there's a freezy on top of your back glass when you click on the actual game you hit f1 and this is where your ROM settings are. One thing you, you get comfortable with some of these settings, but the one use external DMD for two screen cabinet users. Here, I'll go back to the screen once you see it. So hitting F1 in the play field brings up the VPIN main menu. And yeah, you have use external DMD there. Um, that you might have to check off depending on the uh, table, but these are the kind of stuff to get under the hood so you get used to it. But yeah, you're all set up. You're, you're all uh, ready to at least add a table, get media for it. And uh, then you'll uh, move on. All right. Thanks. Bye.